Hello there YouTube model building community, Chris Chapman at you, coming at you from the Rusty Nuts Model Shop. I've got a product review. I did a video showing some stuff that I was doing on the doors and stuff, cutting them off. And I had brought up the perfect putty. Um, I have had a lot of people contacting me, asking where I get it. I apologize, I just got a text from my mother. She never watches this. Probably for the better. <laughs> so, is what I want to do is a product review kind of thing. And before we get to the perfect plastic putty, I want to start off with this. It's kind of glaring, I got the light coming up there. This is a Brush Magic. These are all products by Deluxe. Brush Magic. I was amazed, people. I had this brush that was. I guess I should have had this out. This one, right? No. 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 Oh, there it is. No, that wasn't it. I had a brush. <laughs> somewhere still got everything kind of half torn apart trying to get it all back together but it's similar to this this one here I was using to put my future on that's what that brown is that's my future brush everybody knows the future pledge floor care not the wax but the floor care is an acrylic based clear coat this here, I dipped it into the future, left it in there for about 30 minutes. That was uh, about a week ago, right after I did that video. Maybe a little longer than a week ago. And it is, I mean, it doesn't move. Them bristles are tight. Now, hopefully, this will end up going as fast as the other one did. The other one, it just had enamel or acrylic paint. This here, the last one that I had that I did this with was actually enamel paint, not acrylics. This here is the um, Brush Magic. I'm going to put this in here and let it soak for just a little bit. With the, I haven't tried it yet with the... Uh, Pledge floor care, but if it does what it did with the enamel paint, by the time I get done going over these other ones, we should have some movement. That brought my computer or my paintbrush up just like it was brand new. I turned around, wiped it off on a paper towel. All the bristles were soft and moving. I walked upstairs, rinsed it out, used some uh, shampoo and conditioner on it, and washed it up, and the brush that was garbage that I was actually using to stir all my paints you guys have seen me doing that where I'm mixing up my clear coats and thinning out my acrylics that brush was garbage and it is right now in perfect working order that's why I can't find it huh <laughs> there's a method to that so this is an unbelievably great great product and I turn around and just put it in this little cup, just enough to cover the bristles. And when I got done, I actually cleaned out probably about 12 old brushes that I thought were garbage. I just put the lid on that, set it up here on the shelf, and every time I come across getting something done, if I use a brush a lot and things, I'll soak it for five minutes in that, then just wipe it off on a paper towel, and it's just like it's a brand new brush. Deluxe Brush Magic. People get a pen and paper, pencil, whatever, white lipstick on the mirror in the bathroom, something, because when I get done here, I'm going to tell you where I got this stuff. And so, just so that you guys are aware, you can start getting prepared for it. Now, they also have, what one is this? Super Fatic Glue. 
ultra thin, foam safe, odorless, penetrating bonds wood, foam plastic, carbon fiber, and GRP. For those of you that know what GRP is, it, it bonds that. This here is a super fatic glue by Deluxe. I haven't really used this a whole lot, but I'll tell you what, it comes with an applicator which is sitting underneath my uh, my paint stand holding my phone. I should have thought about that. Anyway, it has a little teeny, teeny, tiny pinpoint accuracy. This stuff's kind of runny. I mean, it flows. You got a big long seam, drop it here and just let it run down. And a few times that I've tested this out, it within 15, 20 minutes it was cured. And it bonds very, very well. I did some video, or I shared some videos over on Facebook on my model, Chapman model cars, of the manufacturer showing how they work and stuff. I don't know how to do all the links and all that stuff for this, so this is what you get, then you guys can search it. YouTube, look, just look it up. Deluxe Plastic Kit Glue. Now this one here, Bonds in Seconds, Anti-Clog Action, Fine Applicator Tip. Again, another, it goes on here, and it's just a little tiny needle sitting underneath you guys right there. Um... Has a fine applicant, very fast plastic cement for all types of plastic kits. This here is great. I mean, no scent, no odor, no harsh chemicals. This one here is, I've actually used this on a lot of the uh, doors that I hinged and everything. And that's working really, really, really well for me. The other one that they have... And I don't know why they have so many and what the differences are, but is all I know is that they work. This one here is thick. It's a thicker glue. And you, I don't know if you can kind of see it right there. If I tip it like this, look how slowly that comes and moves. So it's a very thick glue. So just a little dab. You put your part in there, count to five, and it's together. This in here is a rocket plastic glue, fine point applicator, again, underneath you guys right there. And this is non-flammable, non-toxic, low odor adhesive. And this one here you can't really see, well maybe you can if I do this, and I kind of wiggle it, can you see it right there? Very thin, very watery, very runny. Again, bonds tight. Bonds fast, and it's good. And I don't remember what the prices are. You guys are going to have to kind of do a search on it yourselves and things. And I also, while I was at it, decided to try by Deluxe Tacky, tacky Wax. And I'll tell you what. That uh, cancer build that I'm doing... 64 Impala, and this other build that I'm doing that's kind of hush-hush. I got this wax. You take a little bit, you put it on a joint, you stick it all together, and it holds. It, I mean, I have my whole car put together. I can pick it up, turn it upside down, move it around. No problems with it at all. And for mocking up, this stuff is great. And then once you get it done, I took it up. I've got a bucket filled it full of hot water threw the parts in it came up the next day with a brush and basically the dawn dish soap and things and I turned around to turn on the hot water and just rinsed it all off and the tacky wax tacky wax just dissolved and there's no traces of it at all and then it holds the cars together well. It worked on my engine parts as I was putting it all in there together and stuff. So uh, it's another product if you want. Check it out. Um, tape also does the same thing. But this way here you can actually get in there and get stuff where the tape has a hard time holding it and stuff. Good stuff. Now back to the perfect plastic putty. 
this stuff here, I really like it. It had a top applicator, and it's kind of thick. Where you put it on, it had a comb, came up to a tip, you just clip the tip off. And then you score it this wherever you needed to. You could do fine lines or whatever. The problem that I did have with that was all of this would get up inside there. Then you take it off, and I put this cap on, it hardened inside the uh, other cap. If I left this off, left the cap on here, you've got to seal the top of it so that it doesn't dry up there, or else you're not going to get it to come out. So what I did is I just threw it away. And I got these are little applicators makeup applicators and they have this foam this foam stuff right here on it and I just ripped the foam stuff right off of it in fact they are very very much like these little makeup applicators you just pop that off that one's actually glued on pretty good usually they could slide right off but you just take it off and you, it's got a really nice, there we go, got a really nice little spatula. This also works great for applying the wacky tacks. Wacky tacks, wacky tacks, waxy tacks. See, can't say it fast three times, I don't know why, I don't know. But these things here are great for this kind of application. They get into small places, but I just use this right here. Now this here comes off to where I could clean it, then I put it back up in here, and then I just kind of pinch this. And then I would just sit there and scrape out what a little bit at a time, so that way I'm not putting some onto a little cup, you know. Everybody sees these at the uh, Denny's or Wendy's, McDonald's or Fry Cups. These here are designed to open up. So now you're ketchup and all your sauce and everything is laying flat. I got 250 count of these on Amazon. I think I paid $3.99 and I had free shipping because at the time I was on a prime trial but I think regular shipping on it was only like $2.99. Great investment. I put all my glues on this I put my putties on this. I can put my paint and mix my paint in here for dumping in my airbrush in these. And then when you're done, you toss them in the garbage. That's the easiest cleanup I could think of, people. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe not. I don't know. Great. Great. Now, I used to get a big old puddle of it. Next thing you know, you got half of that there thinking, how the heck am I going to put that back into the tube? Well, I can't. Into the garbage it goes. Oh, and I just threw it in my water. I was going to use that. Oh, well. Into the garbage. So, we have a perfect way to use the perfect plastic pipe. Oh my gosh. One of my bird's feathers is floating about. I thought I had them all out of here. Anyway, purple. <laughs> purple. Purple Rain. Oh, that's Prince's song. Perfect Plastic Putty by Deluxe. All of these products are pens ready. You got them ready. HorizonHobby.com That's where I found them. HorizonHobbies.com and I'll tell you what, I ordered them and I believe it was like four days I got the brush magic in this. And then two days after that, five days, I got the other three bottles. They had to do a separate shipping because they was out of two of the products. And so they had to have it shipped from another warehouse somewhere else. So they had to send the order up. So it took them a couple extra days. But if they have it all... It goes fast. I have mentioned to a lot of people on Facebook and replied back to a lot of people about this. I went on their website two nights ago when I was trying to get the link for uh, Don Sheridan to uh, 
give it to them and it showed that they were out of stock. I called them up yesterday and they said they had a, a flux of people ordering this and they said like within three or four days they went through 400 units that they had in stock and they are getting more in very very soon. And I kind of joked with them saying well maybe it was my stupid video that I did that did that. And they said I doubt it and I go I know me too. But just bam they sold out fast. Another thing that I found out, I've still got to research it. I got a flat tire on my bike. Most of you guys know about my New Year's Eve coming home, blowing the rear tire, and I rode it 19 hours flat to get here. Ruined my sidewall on it and stuff, won't even hold air. I'm ordering a new tire tomorrow morning, and it'll be here on Friday. Then I'm going to go research, but I found or heard from a couple people that they have actually picked this up at both Walmart and Lowe's Home place thingy so there's a chance it may be local they haven't seen the glues yet but they have seen the putty and so I'm going to double check and verify on that tune in to my next coffee time I will hopefully have an update let's um Coffee time topics. Perfect putty store update. It's on paper, people. I've got to do it now. So, I will go and check that out, see what we could do to confirm the rumors, because if it's there, I'm buying me a couple of tubes and having it on stock. I mean, great stuff. And again, nobody's seen this stuff or anything at them stores. Just the perfect plastic putty. Um, okay. It's starting to break up. It's wanting to. Let me grab me a paper towel here. It may not have gotten all of it completely cleaned. I'm just going to take it out. Still the same brush. You can see the paint marks on it for my future brush you can see the paint that's wiping out of that right now there's still paint and my uh, clear coat the pledge floor care and kind of wiggle this around on the bottom See if we can't get more to loosen up. I'm going to hold the napkin this way so there won't be as much light. And I'm going to pull it up here. You can see just what came off right there. And I'm just swishing it around in it. It is cleaning this out wonderfully. This in here is going to take a little bit of time, but I bet within an hour. It'll be done, but you can see those end bristles, they're move, moving, and it's working from the tip up. So, this stuff is really, really, really good stuff if you want to revitalize old brushes. I'm going to leave that one in there, and I'm going to finish cleaning it. We'll set it up on top of my coffee maker for a little bit. So that's it, people. Uh, kind of longer than most product reviews are, but I had a lot of stuff to show. I hope that helps you. Hobbies or a... Uh... Oh, no, I forgot it. 
horizonhobbies.com. You can find it there. So, for those of you that are interested and want to try it out, guarantee you won't be wasting your money. I guess that's it. We'll see you all later. Ciao.